What's up guys, today we're going to be creating rivers, lakes, and beautiful oceans. How? Well, it's as simple as we're deleting everything so that I can actually show you. You ready to start? Now, when you click this button and you go to manage, well, you're not going to have manage, but I have to actually hit new. Uh, you're going to see this edit layers button. Make sure that's clicked, all right? That's an important thing. And when you finally have what you want in terms of an island or something like that, you can drag out an ocean just like this. Once you do, it'll be surrounded by water and you could use these little white dots to change whatever you need to change to make it look however you want it to look. I mean, you can make the weirdest things ever if you need to. But that's not the extent of the options, and we're going to go over what's called curves here real quick. Perfect. So let's begin with curve amount. So uh, it allows you to create an actual island type look, and most of it's just noise, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, you can create whatever you want from it. It's kind of really nice. Now there is blurring. What if you don't want any blurring? What if you just want zero blurring? What does that do? interesting so it really doesn't do much i'm not a professional with these settings yet so please understand that i'm just going by what i currently know what you need to do and how to build this stuff that's what i'm trying to show you how to do okay next we're going to drop in a lake you can do the same thing with the lake as you can do with anything else so again these little white points can be cloned by holding down alt and dragging in any which direction that you need to like this and you can create any shape you want and then you can go up here again and use this to morph it into whatever you want so now that we got that we hit g and you can see we have a lake next with river now river settings are a tad broken so you want this part right here the front part to be in the adjoining area so the ocean or anywhere else that way it can blend in that leaves the river free to be able to do this. It can go anywhere it wants, right? If you wanted to come out this way, this way, like that, just, you know, give it some personality. You can do that. And in the end, it ends up being sort of seamless in the way that it flows. And believe it or not, that's it. That's actually how you do all that. I mean, you can pretty it up, make it look like however you want. Uh, I can click it right here real quick on my landscape and I can totally drag out. Um, actually, I'm gonna just dock this because it's annoying having it like that. So, you know, you give it this nice, interesting jungle look and throw down some trees and foliage and all that jazz. I mean, I have a default map here. I think it's in third person, or is it in maps? I'm going to try to find it. Map. Uh, where are you? Third person example map? I think that's it. So, yeah, we're just going to save that as untitled for a minute. So this is what I built. It's currently broken due to lighting. It's very strange. But as you can see, I have a lake. Uh, I have rivers. And I have an ocean. And all the coloring seems to be completely busted for some reason, and I don't know why. But nonetheless, it works, and it works very well. I'm glad this kindly got fixed. I'm using Early Access 2 of Unreal Engine 5 to get this working. So guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button, share it, do whatever you have to do. And I hope you guys enjoy Unreal Engine 5. This ocean stuff is built in to UE5 and UE4. So have fun. Bye, everybody.